Happy Tuesday, everyone. Corinne from Mamas Little Lambs. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about something that is dear to our heart and something that is important for this month. And I will be back to let you know what it is. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited about this morning. I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Natasha over at Educational Roots, and we are going to be talking about Women's History Month. And I have some fabulous things to share with you, which she always does. So make sure when you're done watching my video, you stop by her channel and check her out. She has some fantastic videos. She has amazing a material and just so much to share with you so make sure you stop by once you leave here I will link her information down in the description box so you'll have that and don't forget to go by and give her a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not a subscriber to her channel click the notification bell and that way you'll be able to see all her videos so let's get started March is a very busy month we have National Nutrition Month that we are um, going to be working on in school and just talking about healthy foods and exercise and diet. I shared that video with you. Um, also, it is St. Patrick's Day this month and it is Women's um, History Month, which is so important. And I'm excited to share a lot of things with my eighth grader. Uh, my daughter who's in eighth grade, and just let her know how important it is for her to um, have a history of what women went through to have their um, rights and to um, to encourage her to be positive and to let her know about the women's right movement and just to share some important women figures that I think um, are important for her to know about. We're also going to be reading some poetry. Um, written by a beautiful lady and then I have some books for my littles to go through for Women's History Month and a game we're going to play and then some new books I want to share with you um, one of them being Wondrous Women Who Changed the World and I just got these at Costco and these are really cool so I definitely want to share these with you so let's get started on the poem uh, the book I chose is Julie Andrews and it's just a collection of poems and songs and lullabies. And it's absolutely beautiful. In the back, it comes with a CD. And I did get this book used. And the CD is perfect. And it's just wonderful. Um, Julie Andrews is most um, recognized figure in the world of entertainment. And best known for her performance in Sound of Music and in Mary Poppins. And she's a fantastic um poet too. She has some beautiful poetry. So we're going to share some of these, um, go through the different poems and read these. We will do some copy work and we will do some oral narration, but all things bright and beautiful. I just wanted this month to be, um, to be on poems that were inspired by women. So we're looking for those as we go through here. We're going to pick those out and just read those and enjoy and, and enjoy them. And so I'm going to allow her to pick out um, two that she would like to pick out um, for oral narration and copy work. So that I will let my daughter do. The next thing I want to share with you are books that I have for my littles and for school. I do a Montessori preschool in my home and we are going to read I Am Amelia Earhart and this is just a fun book. It talks about this little girl when she was little and all the fun things and how adventurous she was. It's got some pretty cool pictures in there and how she never got discouraged and how she went for all the things she wanted to be and regardless of what people thought she just kept going forward and how her parents they would give her dolls and get her all these little girly things and she just wasn't wanting to do that she had a different plan for her life and she accomplished what she set out to do and then in the back are some pictures of her as she is grown up and um i think they're towards the back here maybe more so in the middle yeah here's some pictures in the back of her at age seven it goes through different ages and her in the airplane and just her accomplishments she did. So I thought this would be a fun book for them. I also got little 
Dreamers, and it's um, visionary women around the world. And I like it because it talks about different people from different parts of the world. And that's important to me. And it just goes through, and it just has a small bio on each one. And it gives you information on who they were, um, the time frame in which they were they were born, and when um, they passed away. So it gives you each person, and it just it has some great people, and it tells you what they were and where they were located. So just a fun book for my littles to have, and just so much great information. And we want to share how important women are and the contributions they have made in this world. So... That is a great book that I'm excited for them to share. The next one is called A Lady Has the Floor. This is about Belva um, Lockwood, and she speaks out for women's rights, and her father really didn't stand for her when she wanted to go to college, and it went as far as to the Supreme Court, and they didn't even want to allow her to be a lawyer. But she did prevail, and she became an attorney, and she kept going forward. And the pictures in here are absolutely beautiful. That's what I'm sharing with you. But just all the great things that she did and accomplished and how she never gave up. And um, it just talks about her being in front of the Supreme Court and her determination and how bold and strong she was. And just how she just never gave up regardless of what was dealt her way. So she was um, known for her for her courage and her strength and determination. So I thought this would be a great book for them. This is called The Tree Lady, and this is a really fun book. It, um, it says, Meet Kate um, Sessions, a young woman with a grand passion for trees. She had guts, she had vigor, and she had a vision, a green leafy vision that was one day transformed into a city. And it just talks about her and how how she would, you know, it's a true story on how one tree-loving woman changed a city forever. And it talks about getting her hands dirty and how little girls weren't supposed to do that. And she was from California and how she wanted to be in science class. And she wanted to be, you know, where only boys were allowed. And she said, no, I want to be there. And, and she just would lay in the woods and she would look up at the beautiful tall trees and just have a vision of one day reaching her goal, which she did. So this is another fun story for them. The next um, books I'm going to show you um, are ones we're going to go through. This is Amazing Women by B by D K. K I'm sorry, D K. And it goes through and it gives you in this one the table of content. It kind of shows you um, the first one is Women Who Change the World, and then World Leaders, Chapter 3 is Explorers, Science and Medicine, Writers, Artists, and Performers, Business Leaders, Sports Sensations, and then it has Amazing Women Quiz. So in the back of the book, back here, it gives you a quiz. That's a glossary. And then it has the quiz here, and it has the answers. Just to challenge you to see what you've learned, and it just goes through and shows you all different athletes and different writers and performers and just all different business leaders and about talks about Anne Franks and what she did so there's just great stories in this book also the next one is champions of change 25 women who made history so we're going to utilize this book in our class and once again it's got a small bio here's Susan B Anthony and it gives you her name and it says we all rejoice that Utah is a state with her women free and enfranchised. So she talks about national campaigns for women rights, what all that she did, and just how happy she is by her accomplishments and how she never gave up. So each one just goes through somebody different. So this is another great book to go through. I'm going to let her pick a few um, individual women out that she would like to do a report on, and we'll be doing that. And then this is uh, Rad American Women, A through Z. Same type of book. It gives you different names. Uh, I got different ones because they have different people in them, and there's so many to cover. So this was exciting for me to um, go through here and just allow her to pick out a few from each one and do a report on them. So this is a great book also. And Carol Burnett. I remember my parents watching them. And then here is um, Girls Who Run the World. 
And so once again, same type of setup. They have diff what they did, what they were famous for. And this gives you all different types of um, careers and opportunities that they did. So it goes through fashion apparel. It talks about people that were involved with food, science, jewelry, accessories, makeup, people that were in sports, people that were business, people that were in science, people that were in all types of technology. And so this just has a lot of great girls in here who did fabulous things and who are still doing those today. This is women, 50 amazing women who changed the world. And it goes through and talks about different women, what they did, what they were famous for, what all roads and avenues they had to travel in order to make a mark in the world. And it's just a great book once again. Several different women, and like I said, all of them seem to have, a couple of them have the same, but a lot of these have different. So I wanted her to have a variety of books to choose from. So we picked that one. And then Amazing Women, 101 Lives to Inspire You. And this book I really like because it goes through inspirational, trailblazers, campaigns, creators, pioneers, leaders, activists, goes through young talent, and it gives you an introduction, and then it just starts... Um, and it goes through like Beyonce. It just goes through a lot of people that are not, like I said, in the other books. Some have a repeat, but not all of them. So really nice um, pictures and images and bios on each one of them. Here's Amelia Earhart that the children have. And then I have another study on them, which I'll share with you in a minute. So it just goes through several other people. So I just wanted to have um, lots of different opportunity and um, books that we're on hand so that we could research and go through them. A game that we're going to play is by Professor Noggins. It's Extraordinary Women. And it's, I don't know if you've played this before, but it's a card game. It comes with a die. And then it has different cards. And you roll the die. And whatever it lands on, number one, you flip on the back. And you have to choose the first category. And so you look for number one. And then you can have easy or hard. We start with the easy and we drift into the hard as we get towards the end of the month. Um, since we've read and studied, we seem to get much better at this game. So there are several cards in here. This is just has such great information in and just um, good for expanding your knowledge and remembering and comprehension. And so this is a fun game to have to play. My new books I want to share with you. This is Wondrous Woman Who Changed the World. But... I saw these books at Costco, and I thought, how cool are these? These are really neat. I really liked them. And in the back, there's 10 inspirational models to make. Let me take you back there. They're perforated, and you pop these out, and you make these little figurines that look like the figurines on here. So it's got great women in here and history. It goes through all different women of the world. And then you can do those perforated and make little characters that you would set up and have and you would have them, and it would be something that you could look back on, and my daughter will save those and keep those, so it'd be something fun. Um, the other two books I'm going to share with you that came in this set, I bought them separately, but they're the same um, legend leaders who shaped the world, and super scientists who stunned the, stunned the world, so those came all together, but I did want it for the wondrous women who changed the world. So that was my purpose of getting those, but I wanted to share the other ones with you as well. We are going to be reading some Who What books, and we are going to be doing um, some unit studies that I'm going to share with you. But one of the ones we are going to do is What is Women's Right Movement? So we will read this, go through this book and read it. And then I have some unit studies. Um, who was Amelia Earhart? who was Marie Curie, who was Jane Goodall. And I have shown these on here before. I don't know if you're familiar or if you watched the video. Um, these are made by Jessica over at Waldock Way. And you can go on into her store and look up these unit studies. And they just go through. They talk about Amelia Earhart. It gives you a um, quote that she did. There's copy work to do either in cursive and in printing. There's a bio on her. There's a map of locations of where she traveled, where she flew. And there's a, you know, you can write down your thoughts. There's also a compare and contrast yourself with Amelia Earhart. 
And so there's this one that we're going to be doing. We also, and then this is the Who What book that we have to go with it. We also have Who Was Marie Curie. She was um, a scientist and a chemist and the great things that she did. So you can go through here and get all her information and the same setup as that. So these are from Jessica and I absolutely love these. I think I've used these. I think this is, will be, when I get done with these, I think this will be nine that I've used. And it just is really fun because the who, what are really good. So this is a brilliant young girl who loved math and physics. So she was pretty awesome. So Marie Curie. And then the last one we're going to do is who was Jane Goodall. And I forgot to show you in the back of the other ones, but they had these two. There's also, in addition to everything else we had, there are timeline matching games. So they need to go through, remember the dates and what happened on those dates, and then we do a study, and we test. I test my daughter on those. So it's really fun. Jessica has really thought of everything. These are mini unit studies, but they are absolutely fabulous. We absolutely love them. We have used them, like I said, in the past. They have been great, and we enjoy all of these that we've had, and I'm sure these are going to be just as amazing as the other. And I did forget to mention in the beginning of this video that this is a collaboration I'm doing with Natasha over Educational Roots, and I'm going to link her description and information down in the description box and give you her information. I will also link jessica's information so if you want to check out these unit studies you can do that um, they're fabulous she has several ones and she also has other things in her shop so don't forget to stop by natasha's channel her videos are always fantastic she always has great material she's very inspiring i love doing collaborations with her so check her out if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if, you're, if you have not yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will be notified when I do another video. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful month learning about women in history and become empowered by knowing you are able to do all things through Christ, which strengthens you. God bless. Have a beautiful day.